All right, everyone, we're back and fumbling around the station. Not the station. Fumbling around the place to get to the station, too. We're finding berries. Yes. Exactly. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I can't talk. It's just part of... You. I'm going to stop now because I'm not making any sense. Wait, when do I ever make sense in these? Never. Also, where the hell did your cats go? Good question. They have been surprisingly absent. Hello, Mr. Station Master. I can fix this. You're not going to get the cats. But why not? I'm just surprised, because usually they're all over the place when we're trying to do this. Let me just fix that. Okay, it didn't do anything. Usually they're trying to get in my lap and everything. Excuse me, station master. Can't you see? I am very busy. Uh, no. I am fine <laughs> while I am. Very busy. You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I've never seen your sauvignon thing. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey, lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, be honest. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Sure, sure, no problem, randomness. His hands are weird. This whole station is weird. This whole game is weird. Okay, so since we can get over there anyway, I'm gonna take a quick pit stop by the thing, because I'm sure you saw how the uh, professor was talking about that doll. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you can imagine what we have to do with that. And since we have to go back inside soon anyway, so I would well take it to him and get some other stuff and do some other stuff and stuff. Stuff, stuff. I will say one thing though. Barrickstad is the last place that has an easy name to pronounce we go to. Really? Oh no. We're going to Siberia. Which means we have to pass through... Russia? And... St. Petersburg. No. Moscow. No. Hmm. Think a little bit more abstract Russian sounding. Con. And this is where we have to go to get to the... Oh, that giant gate. Hate his hands. There you are. Please feel free to visit the garden at your leisure. And uh, uh, there was just one thing. Uh, I'm not a liar. Not really. Just mum's the word. There is the reputation of the university to think about. And I have superiors. And I have to do what I can. I understand. Don't you worry. Oh, thank you, miss. His damn hands. <laughs> I don't know why we have to watch him walk away. The creppy hands. Is that the fact he has like a, f a single like jeweler's loop monocle thing on, which is kind of weird, but yeah, this whole damn game is weird. Two thousand two, which is actually when the game takes place. So. Oh okay. Two thousand two. I'm surprised you couldn't tell two thousand two by the cell phone you get. You know. It's very much a Nokia. Yeah. But hey, at least it'll never break. Oh shit! I just remember. I don't know how to. I don't remember how to get the berries. The berries. The um. So guys, so we have to climb up that thing, get to the robot eagle. But there's a. We have to somehow get the. egg from in the thing 
Don't you find the ladder? But you'll see. Hmm. Alright, it's right, it's not a drag and drop thing. Skark! <laughs> Give the berries to the birds. Then the birds come over. Slowly, like birds. Ooh, those don't look like birds. And they eat the berries and then they get drunk. Do we get to see the birds get drunk at all? No, they just eat the berries. Now we climb. Nice view. And we climb. More. Yeah. Oh my god. And here it is. It's my worst fucking nightmare. What a flying bird. Oh, and it has eggs in it. I wonder which ones are the cuckoo eggs. Impossible to reach it. What? <laughs> Impossible to reach it. Yeah. Do you have to hook the egg? No, no. Let's get back into the university, I believe. That's right, we have to, um, I mean, I just had to look that up, but I did not remember, but it's because I thought we could do the mammoth doll with the professor and the money for fixing the bandstand at, in the same go. No, we can't. Because we have to give the professor the doll first. Why does he need it? Well, he's talking about it because he doesn't believe that it was actually in Valadi Land, which is no. in the French Alps. I think right. it's. Yeah, French Alps. Because he doesn't believe it can be that far, far down in Europe here, because, you know, Siberia is up here, France is over here. People migrate. Yeah, miss, 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 please, uh, excuse me. Oh, a surprise yes. story relate or you know, story I check. Apologize for our little misunderstanding. I, uh, I, uh, I brought you a bottle of wine, Barakstadt Sauvignon, very good year. Let me know what you think. I'm very um. touched. Thank you. Good luck on your journey, lady. Thank you. That's the only time I'm gonna say welcome to Barakstadt, Miss. What was your uh for? Why did you give her wine? For a little misunderstanding. No other reason. I wish there was a way to like make some of these animations go faster because I, like I said, I played this for like four or five hours, just this level. Mm -hmm. And it was driving me crazy to watch the same animation going up the stairs and going down the stairs and going up the stairs and going down the stairs. But that ladder. That one too, because I would get another item and I'd poke an egg with it. Nope. But I still can't figure out why the egg is so out of reach. It's, it's like literally within arm's reach. It's like that log we had, or that ore we had to get from Momo. Or had to get Momo to get. God. So we give him the mammoth doll. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. Professor, I have brought you something that you should be of interest again? to you. Professor. Look. Professor. What have you got there, then? Let's see. An effigy of a mammoth. But this is Hans doll, is it not? Yes, of course it is. How on earth did you... Oh, my God. It's in my hands. It exists. It really exists. Please, please do excuse me. I'm, I'm deeply, deeply moved. You see? Your hands and my Wahlberg air are one and the same. This is incredible. Yeah, because, you know, that was a big deal. This was having to prove to him they're the same person. Oh, I must waste no time. 
I'm off to my laboratory. I must. This is my lab. <laughs> this <laughs> is my laboratory. Uh, I can say this is my lab, actually, and this uh, is my distillery. Don't worry, Miss. <laughs> I will take the greatest care of it. But I need to study it. You see, it has such importance to me that this very afternoon I shall deliver an impromptu lecture to my students about this very object. If you are interested in Hans Vorlberg, then it is essential that you attend. Hmm? Do you think so? Obviously. Give me your telephone number and I will call you the moment my lecture begins. I will return you your doll at the end. You have my word. Hmm, nothing like keeping me here longer than I need to. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the he walks weird. Yeah. Everyone in this game moves weird, though. But now we can go in here. Uh, okay. <laughs> and pillage. Let's see, that's a, one of those cylinders we need. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else in, not in this one? Uh, I don't need to talk to him again, but... There we go. Need some test tube holders. Can you guess what they're for? Eggs. Yes. And this cocoa powder stuff that we need for later. Because it's. No. It was that stuff we read in that first Amber's own book about uh, increasing oh, the vision. The which. I'm not going to tell you why we need that. Though. No, but. Obviously, it's for Oscar so he can see better to drive the train. Okay, so we gotta go back down to the station. Oscar needs mushroom or ointment for his human eyes. How do they have made him be able to see so well? They stole Anna Voroborg's eyes. <laughs> oh, hello, Jameson. Hi, Wien. One of the cats has emerged. If only it emerged a puppy. She's sweet. But not as nice as a puppy. Uh, yep, yeah, that's about right for us to try to get in much air. I think she got stuck. I think she did too. No. We got new desk chairs yesterday, and the cat has decided to stick her claws into them and just got stuck. I'm sorry. New to us desk chairs. In reality, clearance at Habitat for Humanity. So, very not new chairs. Yeah. <sighs> See, if we were playing this on an emulator, we could just fast forward. Because, you know, it's so common to emulate a PC... We game that an works on a modern uh, whatever. <laughs> Actually, I can't say shit because you can't do that. I know. Then there's that. Then there's that because that was so hard to grab out of our giant robot eagle. I guess if this is a Lego movie, they'd be called Cuckoo Land. Also, if people were wondering, the reason that cuckoos are so dangerous, even though they lay one egg, is that their chicks are much bigger than the host egg's chicks. And then they push the ba other baby birds out of the nest so that or they, they get Or they steal food. all their food. Well, either one. Maybe the way they kill them. They <laughs> essentially kill the other babies. And if the... Since we're here, we can go watch that little voice cylinder. Yes, watch a voice cylinder, I know. But yeah, if the birds push the cuckoo eggs out of the nest... The cuckoos push the birds. No, they'll just kill, straight up kill the bird. Or the egg. Yeah. Time for more talk talk. Hans, I have some very sad news. Our father is dead. He passed away peacefully last Sunday in his sleep. I feel so lonely now. Father had been but a shadow of himself since your departure. I had to take care of everything for him. Housework, factory paperwork, the workforce, clients, everything. And now, today, well, I really don't know who or what I'm fighting for. Times are so hard, 
And this terrible war is destroying everything. Nobody cares for our automatons anymore. I just think about you returning. And when you do return, I will have turned this factory into a palace worthy of your genius. Please take care of yourself. I love you so much, Anna. And of course she has to put it in her jacket, walk right. over here, pull it out of her jacket. <laughs> Protection. And if you can see, we've yeah. almost filled up our one shelf, because that one isn't accessible. I'm assuming that one will become accessible in the second game. Which, fun fact, I now own a physical copy of it, because the day I beat this one, I found it on eBay for five bucks in box. Downside. Looked like someone sat on it. Yeah, but it works. Yeah, well, I don't know that because I haven't had a chance to test it out yet. True. But the, you have the second one from God. Yeah, I, have, I already have the second one. It's just thought it'd be cool to have. But the picture of it was nice and everything. It's just, it was wrapped in brown paper, which I thought was now illegal. Since yeah. the Unabomber and... It looked like it got sat on. So next time I find a better looking copy of it for about the same price, and some from someone who's gonna put it into a box. Yeah. I'll just buy that and sell the other one off. So we go to here, to the bandstand, now that we have our cuckoo wig, because somehow this thing was designed to use cuckoo eggs if you lose the golden egg. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we go down the hole. Is it this what we need to fix? Yeah, this is why we get our one hundred dollars. And you know, you look at all this stuff, and you think, "Oh, this is going to be horrible to f solve the puzzle of." That that's it. Really? Yeah, it's just a big music box. Mm. Terrifying again? I hate that. This is... Oh my god. I have this with the soundtrack. Well, I hope we don't have the robots, because they're freaking creepy. But they beat their leg to the music. Or beat their... tap their foot to the music. What beat? I don't know, but they're tapping their... Oh yeah, and then it locks us out for good until the cuckoo hatches and then they're shit out of luck again. I just wanna know why the cuckoo egg was the compatible thing. Yeah. To a golden egg. You think I need at least a goose egg or something? Yeah. Cause eggs aren't that happy, but gold is kinda. Unless you get a golden goose egg from the goose that laid the golden egg. God damn it. I was hoping you'd get what I was getting at there. Yeah. The Jack and the Beanstalk? And the goose that laid the golden egg. I meant the first time when I mentioned the goose egg. Yeah, I did get it. Yeah. Uh, didn't act like it. Usually you'd hit me for that reference. Why? Because it was the closest thing to a pun I could have made right there. It's a children's story. Don't usually hit me when I make when I do me stuff like that. Disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little. They are ca Nark. All right, give me your money. Gentlemen, I have managed to repair your university bandstand. The bandstand is playing again. This is marvelous news. We are really very grateful. Very grateful indeed. Yes, very grateful indeed. We will look back on your visit with much fondness in our hearts. And now let us in turn honor our word. How much is it you need, miss? A hundred Two thousand dollars. If it's not oh. too much to ask. Something like that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we agreed to grant you the aforementioned sum, miss. You may now leave with your train. And now our train gets to finally leave their station, so they will leave me the hell alone. I like that they just paid you in coins. And while we're on the subject... When will you be leaving? 
Uh, yes, Did you see what the you money looked like? Your train mm -hmm. as quickly as possible. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Here we are, busy chat already. Thank and you're gonna love this. Oh my god! <laughs> they paid me in nickels, dimes, and quarters. <laughs> well, you're not holding on for holding on to it for long. No, it's literally once I get it, it's gone. And you know what? We're gonna run a little bit over today because I feel like going over to. Uh, already be there. I don't feel like doing any of that. Hey, let's come right back and... Run. Yeah, because that's not fun. So much nicer it is now that we have some music playing. No. Fuck those things. Oh god, stop them. But it's like the only good thing they have at this university, according to the rectors. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we supposed to attend a lecture? Later. That's a plot point. Oh. And by that I mean it's a fourth plot point we have to go to. Oh. So, we're gonna go down here. And unless someone calls us, we will come back next time and give these lovely people our money. Aren't they? So, um... Yeah, thanks for... No, not that one. Thanks for uh, watching, and we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.